Hey guys, I want to do a quick review here on a couple of um, pop culture tarot decks. Um, these are by the same artist. They are available on Amazon. And um, I think the best way for me to do this is to kind of do one deck at a time. So for this one, I'm going to focus on the Golden Girls. And then I will um, send a link over for the Friends as well and vice versa. Um, so right off the bat, anybody that knows me knows that I can easily binge both of these shows all day. I'm very familiar with um, both characters and the storyline of both of these shows. So I was really excited to have these available to me. Um, so I will start right off with the Golden Girls. First of all, I love this box. Um, I like the way that it opens. I don't have any other way to say that it's not a tuck box, but it's a, a fold over sort of box. And I really like that. It's very well constructed. You can see it's double, double lined there. So it's definitely a sturdy box so you can travel with it very easily. Um, it does not come with a booklet. That's one thing that if you are new to reading, um, might make it a little difficult, but because this is Rider Waite Smith based, um, you can really refer to other um, other books that kind of explain tarot in the Rider Waite Smith sense and and learn to read with these cards. If you're already familiar with that system, this is a really really easy connection to the original Rider Waite Smith. So I have been using these. They are not going to be in order. This is a deck that I've had for a few months now. And so it's definitely been well loved. It's my Sunday deck because you will catch me binging the Golden Girls on Sundays. But that's just my thing. So we go through starting with Sophia as the magician. And this is why if you recognize the Rider Waite Smith, how connected it is she's wearing a red dress because he wears red robes he's got the the wand just as Sophia does we've got the greenery just like the traditional magician would have it all the way around we have all of our tools on the table I don't think we could have picked a better character here for the magician honestly um you know the you can easily tell who these characters are it is very much in their likeness and I think she's done a fantastic rendition of this deck here. I do read with reversal, so bear with me. We have the lovers with Dorothy and Stan. Of course, the Queen of Cups would be no other than Rose. You know, it's very pop, late 80s, early 90s. The whole color scheme really fits into what you would see out on the lanai. Um, a lot of the features are very similar, even the Seven of Wands, the regular Rider Waite Smith, very similar in design. And so we kept with that theme and I really appreciate uh, the, the connections in them together. Go through a few more cards here with you guys. Um, as far as the actual physical deck, it is a thinner cardstock, but for me that's okay because I have small hands and I do prefer to riffle shuffle. So this allows flexibility so I can get a good shuffle through my cards. And they are very well laminated. You can tell that they do have a higher gloss on them. And so they will um, stand the test of time pretty easily. The edges are very smooth. It was a well cut deck. Um, again, I have shuffled these a few times, but even still they are smooth across um, the edges here and um, as as far as shuffle and things go it does go very well um, they don't stick so even though it's a high gloss they easily glide across I don't struggle even with the hand over hand it's a very well constructed deck whoever they chose for printing I think it was a great choice um, Again, it does have that flexibility, especially for people like me that like to riffle shuffle and or have small hands. It's helpful. They do slide across tables easily, and that's great. 
So overall, I absolutely love this deck. It is a staple. Like I said, it's usually my Sunday deck. <laughs> um, I will grab some insight with, you know, a cup of hot cocoa or something and, and chill with the ladies and, you know, gain their insight. Um, a strong theme of cheesecake throughout, which is also a um, true testament to the knowledge of the Golden Girls and their love of cheesecake. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. It is definitely a deck that if you are into the Golden Girls at all and tarot, I definitely think it's worth doing. I had worries um, as far as, you know, I don't typically like kitschy little things, pop culture type things when it comes to my decks, but this one was done incredibly well. In fact, when I opened it the first time, I was so giddy and sharing them with my husband and he was laughing too because of course he knows the Golden Girls. And, um, you know, we both really enjoyed it and how well it was put together. So as far as a review goes, it's definitely one of my top decks that I can appreciate, especially from a pop culture standpoint. Uh, go ahead, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more reviews or get some other tips on tarot. Um, you know, it helps me out, encourages me to do more. I have quite a few decks to go through. So if you like it, um, share some love. And I hope you guys take care and I'll see you soon.